So you're probably mostly familiar with Rourke's Drift through the movie Zulu, which famously stars Michael Caine from 1964. It's reasonably accurate in terms of its depiction of Rourke's Drift. But Henry Hook is one of a number of real life people who were depicted in the film. Hook was played by a man called James Booth and his depiction in the film is quite interesting. When you're researching something like this for an exhibition, you can't help but develop personal, personal connections to the people and the objects that you're reading about and you're researching. And this is something that became of interest to me. If you go and watch Zulu today, um, you'll, you'll see Henry Hook is depicted as a, a thief, a coward. He's under arrest at the time of the, the siege for stealing. Uh, he's surly, he's um, um, insubordinate to his superior officers. Uh, he's a, portrayed as a sort of cheeky chappy Jack the Lad type character. That's not at all what he was like in real life. In fact, I mean, as we've already gained hints of, he was a model soldier, well liked and respected by his, uh, the other members of his regiment, well liked here at the British Museum. He was a well liked, uh, popular member of staff. Um, and it was interesting to see that his character is essentially defamed in the film, which is a shame. It seems that the filmmakers needed to have an overt villain, an English speaking overt villain who uh, could be antagonistic to the other characters. And so they seem to have chosen Henry Hook to, fu to fulfill that role. He goes through a journey, as they might say, in the film world. So by the end of the film, he redeems himself. He reluctantly joins the fighting and becomes uh, the reluctant hero and winner, winner of the Victoria Cross. Um, but it's, it's totally at odds with what Hook was like in real life. I have a picture here just to show you. Here you have Hook as he's portrayed by James Booth in Zulu. Here you have Hook as he appeared in real life. So strikingly different in terms of how they appear uh, and strikingly different in terms of how um, they were as, as characters. There was a story I read a couple of times whilst I was researching this exhibition, which was that uh, Hook's daughters, when they were quite elderly, were invited to the premiere of Zulu in 1964 and they were so shocked at how he was portrayed that they walked out. Unfortunately, I couldn't find that backed up anywhere. I asked a few people, I did some digging, and I couldn't find that backed up anywhere. So it does seem that it could be urban myth. It's a nice story, but of course couldn't be featured in the exhibition without that real evidence behind it. Mm -hmm.